Have you ever come across a website that looks so beautiful and has this super cool and creative layout and wondered how they do it? Well, in most cases, it's done with CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's basically what controls the look of your website. Now, if you're not very code savvy or have zero interest in learning how to code, you might be wondering if you're stuck just using the basic layouts that are available to you through Squarespace. And I have good news for you, you're not. Thanks to this awesome tool, plugin extension for Squarespace called Square Kicker. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about it and show you what you can do with it, basically. You install Square Kicker onto your Squarespace website and it allows you to make really cool modifications to your website without having to write a single line of code. For example, this layout. Usually I would achieve something like this by writing CSS or by creating a background image in Canva and then overlaying it, putting it as a background and then adding the text box and uh, adding the CSS for the text box to create this type of layout. The problem with that is when you use an image like that, when you use a background that you made in Canva, it doesn't flow nicely when you resize it to a smaller screen. Usually it, uh, the images either get really smushed or they get cut off and it's not really clear what the background is. Not to mention the more images you have on your website, the slower your website loads. The solution is of course to learn code, learn CSS, but let's face it, not everybody wants to do that. And if I'm being perfectly honest, sometimes even I as a designer don't really feel like writing uh, lines and lines and lines of CSS just to achieve something. So Square Kicker basically solves that problem because you can achieve a layout like this with a simple, with a couple of simple clicks without having to learn code or create an image background in Canva or you know, contact a designer or developer to write the code for you or anything of the sort. So I want to show you what kinds of layouts you can create with this. And I'll also give you a little demo of how the tool works and show you more, talk more about the features that it has. So basically I was able to achieve this very layered collage type look simply by placing two images into one section and setting one as the collage layout and pushing one a little bit to the side and off above so that it stands out a little and we get this nice layered look. Then you can also make split sections like this without having to write code or fiddle with galleries or using uh, image cards or anything of the sort. And the best part is you can add any type of content into these sections. So as you can see, this one uses a background image with some text and a button, while this one uses a plain color background. Then you can create these cool section dividers. You can have an angle divider. You can also create a wavy divider like this. And you can also create background color behind text and a button so that uh, the text stands out more and it's easier to read if you have an image background that has a slightly busy background. So basically once you install Square Kicker on your website and you go into the image editing mode or page editing mode, you'll see that basically Square Kicker will load over not only over sections, but it'll also load over every element on the page. So if we click this little SK icon, now you get access to all the tools and all the options that you have for each particular image. So when it comes to the image, you can change the layout, you can play around with the layout, you can even crop or set the ratio for the images here, and you can control how wide the image actually is, and you can control the positioning of the image. So as you can see, all I'm doing is dragging the slider up and down, and that is basically moving the image on the page. And if you ever decide that you don't like a particular change that you've made, all you really have to do is press this undo arrow, and it'll undo the changes for you. And then you can also click cancel to cancel out all the changes or you can click apply to apply them. Now you can also customize the text that appears on the image. You can change the font, family, the size, the color, the font weight, the line height, basically all the editing tools that you have in Squarespace for the text tools. You can play around with them in Square Kicker. And what's really cool, you can also add a highlight to the text. You can change the layout of the text. You can change how uh, the text fits on the image, where it's positioned. This particular image is a bad example because I don't have text on it. And then you can also apply 
the changes to the block itself. So for this particular block, you can change uh, the position. You can move the entire block up and down. And this is how I was able to position it on the page the way I did. You can change the spacing around the image, which basically makes the image smaller or it kind of sort of creates a zoom effect. You can change the image. So let's say I want to place this over the text, over the this collage part. All I have to do is change this level, make this number bigger than what this block has, and it'll show up above it. If you're familiar with CSS, this is called the Z index. So basically by modifying the Z index, we can change how the image is positioned on the page. Again, I'm going to cancel out of this. And then for this block, switch over because this one has more going on. As you can see, I've added some styles to the image itself. I've changed the layout. Basically, I reduced the width of it and I changed the positioning of it so that it's positioned more towards the edge of the screen. You can also add filter to an image. You can increase the blur so it's blurry. You can change the brightness of the image. You can up or reduce the contrast. And you can also apply the grayscale filter to it or the sepia filter to it and play around with how the image is styled. You can also add the overlay to the image which is useful if you want to make like the text stand out more. You can add uh, a border, a shadow, you can control the visibility and lots of other cool things. And then you can also control the text that appears on the image. So because this is a collage block, what I've done here is I've changed the width of the collage portion and I've also changed how it's positioned. And then I've also adjusted some spacing between the headline and the rest of the text and the button in the overall padding to give it a more to give it some more breathing room and space around it and then I've also added a border around it just a simple white border and one thing that's really cool is that you can use square kicker to basically create a rounded image so you can crop your images into circles and uh, without having to do it in Canva or ever anything everywhere else so that's really cool. One other cool thing that Square Quicker makes it easy to do is you can add a highlight to any text that you want. So basically just by, let me quickly change the color of our header here and then we're going to add a highlight, let's say like that. And then you can also change the highlight height which basically controls how big the highlight is. So you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Yeah, I think that looks fine. And then you can also change uh, whether you want the text to be capitalized, uppercase or lowercase, or just have leave it as none. And if we apply that, now our changes are saved. And you can also use Square Kicker for sections, which basically allows you to change the background for the section, for the content on that page, or for the image. This is where you can also add those dividers that I showed you. And of course, with this layout tool, you can create the sections, the split sections that uh, I showed you on the page. And of course, you can control visibility, so which devices each section is visible on. So maybe you have a section that you don't want to show on mobile or tablet devices, or uh, maybe you have something that you want to show on mobile but don't, don't want to show on desktop devices. And what's really cool about Square Kicker is that you can adjust the settings for each device type. So let me show you what this basically means. So this is how this section looks on desktop devices. But if I click if I click the square kicker icon and I select the tablet, you'll see that this is still visible. But as soon as I switch to the phone, you'll notice that that other picture is gone and all we have is this one picture with the text uh, left over here. Because having that other picture, it will just look a little silly. So we've changed it, changed it uh, how it looks on mobile devices. And then also the same applies basically for these split section layouts. Uh, they display as a split layout on desktop, uh, laptop and tablet devices. But as soon as we switch to mobile, they display stacked so that they don't look squished on smaller screens. So that's one feature that I really, really like about Square Kicker and their tool. And of course, everything else that they offer just makes uh, your life so much easier if you want to have a unique Squarespace website without learning code. So let me show you how you can create uh, the split, for example, the split layout sections. Okay, so we're going to start by adding a section. 
and I'm just going to add one headline section. Okay, so we have one section, we're gonna add one more, and we're gonna make this a simple text section. Yeah, let's go with that one. And the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the background color of it. So let's set this one to, I don't know, light one or bright. Yeah, let's go with that one. And now for this first section, I'm going to hit the SK icon and under layout, I'm going to select half a width and click on apply. And for the other one, I'm going to do the same thing and hit apply. And just like that, we have a split layout with two sections that you can add all types of content to. Now, of course, you're not limited to just two. You can add, um, you can create like a third, like not third, but like three split sections. So let's set this one to one third and you can set this one to either be like two thirds of it or not, this was three quarters. Obviously that's not gonna fit, but like two thirds or you can set it to be one third again, apply. And then if you want to fill this up with a third section, you can add another section. Um, let's go with a headline again, let's go with that one and then hit the SK icon on that one. And under layout, select one third again, click apply. And as you can see, now we have essentially three sections right next to each other that create a nice effect on your website. There's lots more that you can do uh, with the extension. Now, this is a paid tool. However, you do get a 14 day free trial. So you can sign up for it. You can test it out on your website. You can see if you like it. And I, I'm telling you, you're going to love it because it, it really allows you to do lots of cool stuff with it. And you can get really, really creative with it. And yeah, sign up for it and give it a test run and see how you like it and make your website stand out from the rest. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.